Saint Pahomius Greek Pahomios Coptic CA 292 to 348 also known as Pahom and Pachomius P Comus is generally recognized as the founder of Christian Cenobitic monasticism Coptic churches celebrate his feast day on the 9th of May and Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic churches mark his feast on the 15th of May or the 28th of May in the Lutheran Church, the saint is remembered as a renewer of the Church, along with his contemporary and fellow desert saint, Anthony of Egypt on January 17. Life Saint Pahomius was born in 292 in Thebes Luxor, Egypt, to pagan parents. According to his hagiography, at age 21, Pahomius was swept up against his will in a Roman army recruitment drive, a common occurrence during this period of turmoil and civil war. With several other youths, he was put onto a ship that floated down the Nile and arrived at Thebes in the evening. Here he first encountered local Christians, who customarily brought food and comfort daily to the impressed troops. This made a lasting impression, and Pahomius vowed to investigate Christianity further when he got out. He was able to leave the army without ever having to fight, was converted and baptized 314. Pahomius then came into contact with several well-known ascetics and decided to pursue that path under the guidance of the hermit named Palemon 317. One of his devotions, popular at the time, was praying with his arms stretched out in the form of a cross. After studying seven years with Palemon, Pahomius set out to lead the life of a hermit near St. Anthony of Egypt, whose practices he imitated until Pahomius heard a voice in Tabanisi that told him to build a dwelling for the hermits to come to. An earlier ascetic named Macarius had created a number of proto-monasteries called Lavra, or cells, where holy men who were physically or mentally unable to achieve the rigors of Anthony's solitary life would live in a community setting. Pahomius established his first monastery between 318 and 323 at Tabanisi, Egypt. His elder brother John joined him, and soon more than 100 monks lived nearby. Pahomius set about organizing these cells into a formal organization. Until then, Christian asceticism had been solitary or eremitic with male or female monastics living in individual huts or caves and meeting only for occasional worship services. Pahomius created the community or Cenobitic organization, in which male or female monastics lived together and held their property in common under the leadership of an abbot or abbess. Pahomius realized that some men, acquainted only with the eremitical life, might speedily become disgusted if the distracting cares of the Cenobitical life were thrust too abruptly upon them. He therefore allowed them to devote their whole time to spiritual exercises, undertaking all the community's administrative tasks himself. The community hailed Pahomius as Abba, Father, in Hebrew, from which Abbot derives. The monastery at Tabanisi, though enlarged several times, soon became too small and a second was founded at Pabau. Fao After 336, Pahomius spent most of his time at Pabau. Though Pahomius sometimes acted as lector for nearby shepherds, neither he nor any of his monks became priests. Saint Athanasius visited and wished to ordain him in 333, but Pahomius fled from him. Athanasius' visit was probably a result of Pahomius's zealous defense of orthodoxy against Arianism. Basil of Caesarea visited, then took many of Pahomius's ideas, which he adapted and implemented in Caesarea. This ascetic rule, or ascetica, is still used today by the Eastern Orthodox Church, comparable to that of the rule of Saint Benedict in the West. Topic death and legacy Topic Pahomius continued as abbot to the Cenobites for some forty years. During an epidemic, probably plague, Pahomius called the monks, strengthened their faith, and appointed his successor. Pahomius then died on 14 Passions, 64 a.m. the 9th of May 348 A.D. By the time Pahomius died, c. 345, eight monasteries and several hundred monks followed his guidance. Within a generation, Cenobic practices spread from Egypt to Palestine and the Judean Desert, Syria, North Africa and eventually Western Europe. The number of monks, rather than the number of monasteries, may have reached 7,000. His reputation as a holy man has endured. As mentioned above, several liturgical calendars commemorate Pahomius. Among many miracles attributed to Pahomius, that though he had never learned the Greek or Latin tongues, he sometimes miraculously spoke them. Pahomius is also credited with being the first Christian to use and recommend use of a prayer rope. 
Topic Coptic literature Topic Examples of purely Coptic literature are the works of Abba Antonius and Abba Pahomius, who spoke only Coptic, and the sermons and preachings of Abba Shinoda, who chose to write only in Coptic. The Pahomian system tended to treat religious literature as mere written instructions. Topic name topic The name of the saint is of Coptic origin, Pakhome from Akam eagle or falcon p at the beginning is the Coptic definite article. Into Greek it was adopted as Pachumios and Pahomios. By Greek folk etymology it was sometimes interpreted as broad-shouldered from Pachis thick, large and Omos shoulder. Topic see also topic Saint Benedict Book of the First Monks Coptic Monasticism Coptic Saints Desert Fathers for their reading Pahomius, The Rule, London, 2012. Lamovia.net ISBN 978-1-78336-019-2 Topic References Topic Notes Topic External links Topic The Rule of Pahomius, Part 1 Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4 Coptic Orthodox Synaxarium Book of Saints page of the Saint Pahomius Library contains sources in full text Evansville.edu or Leechurch.org.uk Catholic Forum. Com. Opera Omnia by Migni Petrologia Latina with analytical indexes Hypothetical reconstruction of a Pahomian monastery <laughs>